hey guys welcome to my channel Coco Rochelle today I'm going to do an Instagram makeup look which I'm going to recreate a look from Instagram they have some famous um not famous um popular makeup gurus that I really enjoy watching on my Instagram so I'm going to recreate this makeup look that is so beautiful from Val Fam. I'll have it somewhere here where you can guys you guys can go check it out. This is the makeup look I'm gonna do today. It's so pretty, I'm gonna try. <laughs> but I think I'm gonna end up doing like makeup Instagram. Oh, let's get back Instagram makeup looks. I think I'm gonna call it Instagram Tuesdays or Tuesday inspired Instagram Tuesdays, something like that around those lines. So I'm gonna post videos where I recreate looks from popular Instagram gurus right? yeah yeah so before we get into this video make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post videos and also go check out my other channel that I have with my husband and we just made this channel so go show us some love on that page it is forever on us i'll have it here and i also have it in my description box just go go check it out we do vlogs we do pranks and we do challenges it's real fun go check it out guys subscribe show us some love okay so let's get into this video i don't know if i want to do a talk through with this or just just go on with the flow but I'll talk. I think I'll talk. So I'm gonna use my Mac. Um, oh gosh, my Mac concealer in NW40 just to put on the eyelids. I'm using my Sasha Buttercup. I'm going to set my eyelids. I'm gonna take some tape and just put it over um, in the corner of my eyes just to keep the eyeshadows clean. I'm gonna just take some tape and I'm gonna just remove the stickiness because I'm gonna remove the stickiness just I want it to stick so much in the corner of our eyes and damage our skin. So we'll just stick it. And just apply it right here. I'm gonna take my Morphe palette, it's my favorite palette, one of my favorite palettes, and I'm going to use the color from here as my transition color. I have such beautiful colors in this palette. I'm gonna take, because when the color, it looks like she had like more of a red on the, on the, as a transition color, so I'm gonna apply it. Maybe this. Oh, I'm gonna this color of one of the two. I might mix it and see how that looks. Okay, let me get my transition brush color. I'm gonna use that color first. Mm -hmm. Apply it to my I only use this one, so that is perfect. I didn't want to use the this one. Make sure you apply it to the tape area so when you do take off the tape it will be like a cut a cut clean. And I'm also going to take maybe this orange color and apply it on top of that crease. I mean as a transition color on top of that transition color. Just to Okay, the next color I'm gonna use is this dark brown color. And I'm gonna use most of the colors from the Morphe palette, so this will be an easy makeup look. Okay, so I'm gonna take this dark brown 
and apply only to the crease areas because I think that she had it only like on on top of the lid I like crit like the crease area. I'm just gonna apply that to the crease area. This is how it's looking now. And now I'm gonna go back to this breathing brush and blending everything together. Together. Okay, I'm gonna take this black, any black that you have, guys, you don't have to use it from this palette, a black eyeshadow and apply it to the crease, the inner crease, because the inner crease of hers was a bit darker, like just right here. Creating like a wing eyeliner, a wing eyeliner look, a liner look. Now we're going to clean the lid. Take a blush. the clean cut crease and now I'm going to set back up the concealer and apply some setting powder Okay, now we're going back to the Morphe palette and we are going to use this beautiful, beautiful copper gold that she used in the picture. This beautiful copper gold, we're going to use that and place it on the eyelids. Now it's the hard part. You can leave it like this and put your eyelashes and go, but this is, I'm gonna jazz it up like she did and apply some eyeliner. Um, what did she did? I think she put eyeliner on that cut crease. Let me see how she did that, that looks hard. Mm, I'm so scared. Okay, so she did just one. I'm so scared. Don't be scared because you will be scared. You just trace the cut crease that you did from so she used it from her tear duct. And fix that the little areas that I did. If you make mistakes, just use that concealer brush and clean up that line a little bit and use and use the copper color or whatever color you applied on the eyelid and put it over the Areas you made mistake just to clean up. Ooh, it looks so cute. 
Oh my gosh, I did it guys. Thank you. For our lashes, I'm gonna use my cocoa lashes. Okay, so don't mind this white thing, it's the glue. The look is complete, like the eye look is complete, but we still have to do the face and you guys know the routine so I'll come back when I'm done completing my face and I'll come back and show you guys how I do my, the bottom of my eye. Oh, let me remove the tape so you guys can see how it looks creepy. Okay. See? Oh, cute. Okay, so I did... My makeup and now we are going to concentrate on the bottom eyelids. So I'm gonna move this close so you guys can see on the bottom eyelids. I'm gonna concentrate on the bottom eyelids. We're gonna use the same transition colors from the Morphe palette that we started off with, which was the no actually we're not gonna think I'm going to okay matter of fact use pencil for my waterline a black pencil It doesn't have to be neat because we're going to smoke it out. To use that same brown that we used on the transition color, like the dark brown that we used, and apply it to the lower bottom, whatever they call that, sorry. The lower um, lid. Okay, I'm going to use this pointy thing to just smoke it out. I'm going to use this, the darkest brown there and apply it to the okay. I'm gonna add some red to it just to give it some, not some red some of the orange color just on the bottom a little bit with the black and now we're going to put um, mascara to the bottom lashes. I'm really feeling this makeup look. Ooh, I'm cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's like so cute. All right, so we're gonna finish this off in the summer. You'll see how this makeup looks. looks beautiful. I don't even know what lip color I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna do gloss. Alright, guys, so let me finish this. That's the part of my favorite part, which is highlighter. But first, let's set our face. This beautiful face. Hmm. Okay, match this beautiful copper we are going to use the matte gold deposit highlight which is my favorite for dark skin girls okay all right so we're gonna use this little brush from the morphe palette i mean from the morphe line okay wait let's put this dry up a little Oh gosh, I don't know. We don't know overboard, but who cares? <laughs> oh, please donut. Chocolate donut, please chocolate donut. Ooh, girl, you look. Oh yeah, I forgot one more thing. She had to apply a diamond in the inner crease, which I want to do, but I do not have a diamond. So I'm going to use silver glitter just to put on my tear ducts because she used the diamond, but I don't have a diamond, a little, those little diamonds. I didn't have any, so I'm just gonna apply 
some glitter to the tear ducts. So I'm just gonna put some of the uh, eyelash glue in my tear duct. So what color cover should I do with this guy? Help me. Hmm. I think I should keep it room and line my lips with chestnut by MAC. And then I'm going to use this beautiful nude color from mix called butter really like out there my I feel like this is too bright for the look so I'm gonna use my NYX lingerie um, color color in teddy it's like a brown color Alrighty guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this beautiful makeup look that I did say it is going to be, I think every, every, what did I say, Tuesday or Wednesday, I'm going to post a Instagram inspired makeup look where I'm going to try doing some makeup looks from these beautiful girls on Instagram. So make sure you go you guys go check out her page she has beautiful makeup looks that i will be doing more of but look at this guys look at this i did good i did good of course one eye always looks better this eye looks better than this eye <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post videos guys so also don't forget to go check out our channel me and my husband made a channel together and we are growing so and we'll be doing a lot more things there so guys go show us some love go show us some support and subscribe to that channel i hope you guys enjoy and i will see you guys in my next video you did go to shop oh look at this glow you can't tell me no no Alright guys, bye!